Hello YouTube, welcome to the dojo, you're here with Samurai Man, and today we're going to go ahead and combine Diesolo and Tokyo into Cho Tokyo, and he is going to look fantastic when everything is set and done. So pretty much Tokyo's uh, basically, uh, for the most part, ready to go. We just need to get everything lined up with uh, Diesolo on his part. So I've already segmented uh, all these pieces together, but then, again, let's put this off to the side, we'll move these out of the way for now, and just to get everything going. You're going to have these uh, nice little connector ports right there and get them out. Oops, make sure they're out like that. And again on this side, make sure they're out. And what we're going to do is before we had each uh, pink and yellow plugged in, now we're going to go ahead and have uh, the diesel Russia plugged in. So we got this here and this here. It's going to go inside there. And then again on this side, we'll move them out of the way. Go ahead and bring these guys front and center. Clear out the room. So you're gonna have it like this in this kind of configuration. This is pretty much how it looks in the show. They all line up together, and then we have pink over here come this way. They kind of like intersect with each other. They're facing one way, and they're facing another, and they come together. And then we have the uh, the uh, car carrier and tank. Again, they're going this way. So for car carrier and tank, what you want to do is have these here bits folded out like that, and they're gonna tab in. And then we're gonna have these bits here. Uh, if I can find there they are. They're blending in. They're going to line up. And you have basically this configuration in a show. This, so they're coming, Tokyo is coming this way, and then Diesel is going that way, and they link up. And I think that's really cool. So we'll go ahead and do that here. If I can get enough room. Don't want to knock anything over. So we'll just bring these here together. There it goes. Oops, there it goes. Line them up. There we go. So we'll, get this, we'll just get this whole side done. So link them up here. And come around this side, same thing. You find the hole. There it is. Line it up. So there we go. Now we've got everything as it should be. So when you're when you have all the Diesolo and Tokyo parts lined up, you're gonna have this pretty awesome looking configuration of trains just all passing by each other. So on each side of tank and car carrier pressure, what you do is you have this little bit here that you push forward. It's kind of like a button, and that locks it together, so you don't have to worry about that. And you just find it. Oh, here it is on this side. Bring it up. And then just like with each of the other pressure, bring it up. So now you have the feet ready to go. Get some some bulkier feet. And we'll go ahead and stand him up. And he's about to get real tall. So now we'll go ahead and just rotate the hands or the fists just to get them situated. And then we're going to rotate, or here, we'll rotate the uh, these down first. Again, those same shoulder bits. Bring them down. We'll rotate them just to get them out of the way. Now we'll rotate these bits. And we kind of want to have them angled. I, at least I have them angled. You can have them fully down or just angled. I like that angle look. We'll bring down this piece again. This time, instead of bringing out the head, we're going to leave it like that. And last, we're going to bring up this piece again. Pretty much forming uh, Tokyo the same way as normal. But now we have these giant awesome looking cannon type things. So that's cool. Lastly, we'll bring up this head piece before. Now we have this side, whereas before it was this side. So now we're going to tab that in. Same place as uh, Tokyo's head. Oh, and make sure to split the legs. Oh, let's forget that. There we go. Now we'll flip up these nice horns and there we have Cho Tokyo and he looks really cool so Cho Tokyo looks really great I really love that head crest it is so big and just really uh, outlandish that it looks amazing I mean look at his face his face is so tiny compared to all this which I really like uh, that usually I'm, I'm kind of turned off by the giant helmets and the tiny faces but this really works for me. And I love the fact that it says Tokyo right here. That's just awesome. Or just Tokyo. It says Tokyo right there, which is really cool. I don't think we really ever see anything like that. Where it has their logo printed, or at least their name, printed right on like the head or anything. Or the body at all. So very cool. I like the fact that this is red right here around the head instead of just this uh, kind of brownish red that they have on the rest of the Diesel Resha. So very nice. I like the gold lines across the nose and the head and the chin to make it look more like a mask. Um, that looks cool. I like the green eyes. They really pop on him. So yes, they did a 
fantastic job on this face. It just looks amazing. You can see all that nice detailed work they got going on. And it's just fantastic. And also, I really like the cannons on the, the shoulder cannons. They look awesome as well. You can really decide how you want to position them. If you want to make them super tall, maybe you want to have them just straight up. Or if you want to have them directly looking forward to make it a little more, uh, you know, like it's going to hit an enemy because it's kind of arced. But personally, I like them arced. I think they look better when they're arced like that. So that's how I like to do it. There's nothing really different on the chest. I kind of wish there was like a new chest plate or something. I think with the uh, Bill Dio combination, I think there's going to get a new chest. I, I don't really remember, but I think it gets a new chest. So that'll be cool to see. Now, I was really worried about the feet when I saw pictures at first. I thought they were going to kind of look dumb uh, just because it just... At first, it just looked like trains just being slapped onto the sides of the feet. But it actually, I really do like it. Um, I think it really does make him look bulkier and more impressive. He definitely has a giant upper torso. So having the, the, the kind of like side shoes helps to make him a little more complete. It brings the whole look together. And I like it. it I was, again, I was a little worried. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about having just putting on the trains on the side. Because it, it, it felt weird. It seemed like it was going to be weird. Um, it would be cool if maybe you could do like one segment on one side, one on the other, but then there, there wouldn't be enough room on the inside, so I could see why they didn't do that. But this definitely works for me. And again, you can just have Tokyo, or show Tokyo now, hold the sword, just to really, really just fill it in. Because other than the shoulder cannons, there are no, uh, extra accessories to go with this figure, unfortunately. But we'll have Bill Dio to complete everything, and I think maybe, well, I don't know, maybe we'll get something with that, I'm sure... Not, not like a weapon, but I'm sure like a piece of uh, Bill Dio will be left over to hold on to or something. But this works. Um, I think now the sword looks maybe a little small, just because he's so big now. Kind of looks like a dagger. But still, the design works. And that's what matters. This is all about designs. There's no lights, no sounds. It's about aesthetics and looks. And I think they nailed it with that. So anyways guys, this has been Samurai Man. Don't forget to follow me on Tumblr at Medication. You can find all my beautiful pictures. Uh, I'm definitely not all this guy up there. You can also follow me at Instagram at Mechas of Ironheart. You can find all my pictures, uh, purchases, everything that I take uh, pictures of is going to be on Tumblr or uh, Instagram. It's, it's somewhere. You'll find it and it's going to be awesome. Um, also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my uh, channel and videos. I much, very much appreciate it. Uh, thumbs up for likes. Love those little likey likes. I uh, love talking to you guys. Anytime you guys comment, I jump on it. I, I love to uh, talk to you whenever I can. Unfortunately, I can't get to you know, instantly, because usually I come home from work and do the comment. But if I can talk to you instantly, awesome. I'm excited too. So anyways, guys, you all have a great day, and until next time.